and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard. And I'm partially in my herb garden and my transplants for my garden staging area. It's been a beautiful start to the morning here. Definitely cooler than it should be. I am still thankful for it. But as you can tell by the title of this video, some people want to know a little bit more about me. So bear with me. I'm not used to talking about myself. I'm more interested in talking about gardening and how to. Okay, my love of gardening started at a very young age of many moons ago. My grandmother started me gardening and helping her at age three. She started teaching me what were weeds, what were not weeds, how to grow this, how to grow that. She had an amazing, not only flower gardens, but a huge backyard garden. Now she lived on a big piece of property, um, probably about two acres or so. Back before she bought it, it used to be an old blacksmith shop set up in the very back and the, the forge was still there, so I played around that too. But she taught me the love of plants, of gardening, taking care of your soil, because what you put into it, it gives back to you. I love gardening. I love dig getting my hands dirty. I could care less about having pretty nails. I'm down to earth. I love to garden and doing it organically. I remember when I was younger, you could go to the grocery store and vegetables and fruit tasted like they should. Now they just taste like crap. A winter tomato just tastes nasty. <laughs> Back when I was a kid, a winter tomato tasted like it just come out of the garden. The sad part is so much has been genetically modified and hybridized to death to the point where unless it's an heirloom seed, which is what I always only try to grow, I am fine with hybrids as long as they are hand crossed, hand pollinated hybrids. And not, I don't want to eat anything that was formed in a test tube, in a lab, cut and spliced by petri dishes. That is unnatural. And that is why so many humans nowadays have so many diseases. The food is killing us and people's not waking up to it. Now going back before I get on my soapbox about that. I, as a child, was an avid, avid reader, researcher. I thirsted for knowledge. During the summer breaks, I would read 500 books or more during the summer break. I read all the books in the children's section, and then finally, finally, the librarians allowed me to start checking books out of the adult section. Because I wanted to read reference books, gardening books, learn as much as I possibly can. And also my grandmother would help me. T she would teach me the old ways of gardening. How to do it as organic as possible. Now she had one bad uh, usage of severn dust, which I refuse to use severn dust at all because I know that's what gave her cancer too. But other than that, her front yard was amazing. Peonies, everything. It was a beautiful kind of cottage garden set up. And one day I want to have that again. Her backyard she had one massive dedicated spot for strawberries. She had 
hundreds of strawberry plants and you didn't mess with two things in my grandmother's backyard. You didn't mess with her strawberry patch and you didn't mess with her uh, big bush. <laughs> her big bush was massive. It had to been every bit of 30 to 40 feet wide and up to about I'd say at least eight feet tall and just massive amounts of figs. So I would help her harvest. I would help her can. We would fresh eat and all oh, that woman's love for cucumber salad. Southern cucumber salad where you cut the cucumbers up with sliced onions and soak them in a 50-50 solution of water and vinegar and let that soak. Yes, cucumber sandwiches, cucumber salad, tomato salad, you named it. But as I grew older, I learned more about herbs, gardening. I like to branch out and try to grow absolutely as much as we possibly can because everything I grow is either fresh ate or it's canned and put back. I either pressure can it or water bath can it or dehydrate it. One day, one day I will have a freeze dryer. That way I can do so much more. Uh, and of course, always, I love the land. I love working the land. I love trying to bring it back like it's supposed to be fertilized and something that's not just wore out and dead. What you put into the land will give back to you. That's why you rotate crops. You fertilize with compost and natural fertilizers, natural things that come from the earth, not chemically treated crap. As for herbs, I always grew culinary herbs. I've loved herbs. And I've had a long dealing with absolute mistrust of doctors. They're not called practicing physicians for no reason. And once I found the herbs that could start healing me and others, that's when I really sank deep into studying herbology and the healing arts because they don't want you healed. They don't want you well. They want you to keep taking those pills to only stay well just enough. Because if you become completely healed, they lose a customer. They lose money. And that's a sad, sad thought right there. And it's an honest truth. But when I can go into my herb garden or go out into the woods and harvest plants that will heal me or others with no ungodly, horrible, long list of, of side effects. A lot of the medication that they're pushing on people, the side effects are worse than what you're taking the medicine for. And they want people to be addicted. They don't want people healed because if they, they lose money if you become well. And I love growing as much as I possibly can, as y'all can tell. I'll show more what all of I well, most of all that I have. You never show everything. Uh, but to think that I could come out my door, into my backyard, front yard, side yard, harvest something, a plant, a root, a leaf, a berry, and know that I'm going to get well means the absolute world to me. And it's true, knowledge is an addiction. I can't help it. I have to learn at least one, excuse me, one new thing a day. 
if I don't learn at least one new thing a day, I feel like I have failed myself. Knowledge is power. And with that, it'll take you far. Going back to my love of wild foraging and going out into the woods, that started also as a young child. Uh, my daddy taught me his version of the old ways because he come from a different section of the country. And being able to go out and wild forage for roots well, tree roots, plant roots, wild blackberries. Because his thing was on his birthday, he didn't want a cake or anything because wild blackberries always started getting ripe on his birthday. So out to the thickets I went and picked blackberries so he could have his birthday blackberry cobbler. I also, at a young age, started to really delve deep into the Appalachian history, culture, my people's culture, which is the Cherokee, and studying as much of Native American history, culture, the foods they ate, how they harvested, how they growed them. And I want to keep that alive because as the generations come along, I watch everything is being lost because the children nowadays, they have no desire to dig in the dirt, take care of chickens, slop hogs or nothing. All they want to do is because they are allowed to do it, is sit there and stare endlessly into a phone, computer, an electronic game. The old ways are being lost because people have increasingly become lazy. And yes, I am blunt and I will say exactly how I feel. I've watched it over the many years that I've lived. I've been here a half a century and nothing's like it used to be when I was a kid. Children are scared to death to get dirty. Parents won't allow them to play in the dirt and get dirty, to build up their immune systems naturally, <clears throat> to actually eat food that is made from scratch. Not many people know how to cook. By the time I was 18, I was a well, way before I was 18, I was a fully functioning adult. I knew how to clean, cook, garden, harvest, mow grass, cut wood, use a chainsaw, know how to split wood, go fishing, go hunting. Yes, I'm very well-rounded. Even in junior high, the the guidance counselors didn't understand me because, well, one class, I went to wood shop. The very next class, home economics, because I didn't want to be the dumb female. I wanted to be fully well-rounded. I can go out in the woods and survive if need be, which it might be happening sooner than we think. I can fish, I can hunt, I can trap, I can snare. I can use blow guns. I can use a bow. I can shoot. I know what to harvest. I know what to eat. Because I've made sure that I can. I have pushed myself to learn because I have extreme desire to learn as much as I possibly can. Most people anymore don't know how to cook from scratch, don't know how to sew a button on, don't know how to fix a zipper. Because, well, for most people, it's too easy to pick up your phone 
order food and make somebody else deliver it to you. Most children are raised pretty much. Their first foods are ungodly horrible Happy Meals. There's nothing happy about anything from McDonald's. Nothing. I'm trying not to get on a soapbox here because I'm not used to talking about myself. But I grow as much as possible because I want to make sure that we are sustainable through the winter time when the weather is changing the grand solar minimum started last year this is something none of us are prepared for this happens every 400 years and weather's going to change. It's going every year. It's going to get harder and harder to garden. So you need to get notebooks. You need to take notes. For the love of God, people, start paying attention to your weather. I see so many people who have no clue about what's going to happen weather-wise around their area. I don't listen to the weatherman, I watch the radars, because, well, weatherman people are very wrong, it's just like last night, it wasn't supposed to be a chance for rain at all, we got a lot of rain, and unfortunately, I didn't see it pop up on the radar, and all my wood ash that I was working on, well, there was no way for me to cover it, so I lost my batch of wood ash. So I'm going to have to start over again. Things are changing, people. Times are fixing to get rough. You need to know how to garden. You need to know how to produce your own food, your, grow your own meat. Because the war on animal agriculture now don't get me wrong there is a lot wrong with animal agriculture the big ones where animals don't see grass they're not they're fed and they're caged and they're not allowed to run loose like they're supposed to that's why one day I pray that I'll be blessed with at least a 40 acre farm somewhere way out in the country is yes I like BFE I really do and I miss it things are changing and it's coming faster than you think people need to wake up it's changing people and it's not for the better I want to make sure that me and my other half will make it through the winter We'll make it through for a long time. I want to stock as stock and prep as much as possible. People, you need to learn how to be able to make a fire. You need to know how to camp. You need to learn how to garden. You need to learn how to survive in the woods. You need to know how to hunt. You need to know how to fish. Times are coming where you need to learn these arts, the ways of the ancestors. They didn't survive and go through all they did back in the day for us to be lazy. Every day I stay busy because I pay homage to those who walked before me. For without them, I would not be here today. And they struggled. Yes, they did, but they had good times and they had bad times and they gave thanks for both, regardless. Life is what you make of it. You can either pity, pity poor me, or you can get out there and change things. It's all in your hands. It's up to you to either be a success or a failure. And even with saying failure, you have to fail. That way you learn from those mistakes and you get better and wiser and stronger. For remember, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 
and yes I'm struggling to get my garden in but you know what it's getting in because I have transplants waiting to go in the garden and I refuse to give up on them because they're growing for me and my other half to survive and sustain that is our substance coming and I refuse to waste it. My ancestors didn't waste food and I refuse to as well. Here soon I'll be making a walkthrough video somewhat of the typical garden tour but it'll be different. It's not going to be, oh look how wonderful it's, this is something that you need this is something that makes medicine. This is culinary. This is medicinal. It's both or just one of the two. I, I, I live humbly. I live because I keep very close, tight ties with my roots and where I come from. That way I don't forget where I come from and it keeps me balanced. But going in the woods, going in fields, is a learning experience. Learn something new every day that will better you. Avoid the uh, computers as much as you can. Stay outside. Get healthier. Get stronger. Because we're going to have to. Because we're all going to have to learn how to get tough. Hopefully... This answers some of your questions. I'm not used to talking about myself. I'd rather talk about what I'm doing than about myself. Because what I'm doing is more important than who I am. Because my goal is to help as many people along the way to become more self-sufficient. Because you're going to have to. Because through these videos, I'm trying to teach others that this is what used to be done, what needs to be done, and what needs to continue on. Because the old ways are being lost because they're not being taught. These children nowadays could care less. People need to start cracking down on these children rein them in and teach them the old ways like they're supposed to know and not be allowed to act like they do it's terrible it truly is and it's heartbreaking because to be honest if I acted like a lot of these children do today well to be honest I would have been toothless and dead straight to the point I just shake my head cuz it's sad it truly is but only you can change things and it starts with the ger generations coming some are lost there's no help for them but there's many out there who have that inner fire excuse me that have that inner fire that inner thirst to learn nurture that, encourage them, guide them in the right direction so that they'll learn because things are fixing to get tougher. You can see the writing on the wall if you pay attention. Look at the shelves when you go shopping, which that's why I grow what I do because I try to stay out of the grocery stores. Because most of this food they're growing, I don't want to eat it. And you cannot ever make me believe, because I've grown organically all my life. You cannot ever make me believe that the prices of organic food in the grocery store is not ridiculous. Because I know for a fact it's a whole lot cheaper to grow organic than it is all this pesticide drenched food 
this GMO food, this crap that's being sold in the stores, it's cheaper to grow than organic. Because growing organic, you cut out the middleman. There's no pesticides to be bought. You can make it all yourself, and it's cheaper, it's natural, and it won't give you diseases people you got to wake up you can control and keep cancer out of your body by choosing how you eat organic growing it might be harder but guess what the rewards is well worth it your health is more important than going to some fast food place and it's sad when people know what the number is of what you're going to order before they even get there. Avoid fast food if possible. Start learning how to cook from scratch. Baby steps if you have to. My grandmother taught me baby steps. But build up. Become wise, people. Become wiser. Wiser and stronger, and you will survive. You have to be organic. Because what's coming down the pike is not what you're going to want at all. And I refuse to give in. That's why I desire a farm, at least 40 acres, hopefully in BFE, where I can grow all the vegetables that we will need to sustain us. I want to grow my own livestock. I want to have a pond or two fully stocked. I want to have a massive medicinal culinary herb garden. Orchard and so on. That way we will be completely self-sustainable. Because it's coming down to that. People wake up. Well, I hope this answers your question kind of in a roundabout way. I tend to get on soapboxes because it breaks my heart seeing just how everything's changed in 50 years. It's not going for the better. I just want to see everybody healthier, happier, living longer like our ancestors did. They ate lard, they ate butter, eggs, bacon, all of it. You know the difference? One, a whole lot less chemicals. Two, those people work from sun up to sundown, regardless. No matter what the weather was, they were still busy. And we as a people now have become very, very lazy. And that's why we're getting sicker and sicker. Grow organic, people. You can do it. Don't tell me you have black thumbs. You just need guidance. Anybody can grow anything. The difference is either you believe in yourself or you don't. It's not hard to do. Come along, we'll continue on this adventure because I like to adventure. I like to learn. Knowledge is power. Grow within and without because you can do it. Believe in yourself. I believe in you, you believe in yourself. Everybody, take care. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying my videos and that you're learning and it inspires you. I want to inspire as many people as possible. Grow people. Not only grow yourself, but grow your garden. Grow your foods. Grow your fruit. 
vegetables, everything as much as possible. Everyone, I know it's a long video. I tried not to go off on too many tangents. <laughs> but you can do it. I'm gimpy as can be. I wish I could go back in time and tell myself, no, don't do that. You're going to hurt yourself. But, well, what didn't kill me made me stronger, just a little more gimpier. <laughs> I still push myself. Everyone, take care. Please click like and subscribe so you can come along on other adventures along with me. Click the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload another video. Everyone, take care. Get outside. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine in moderation. Stay hydrated. And hydrated does not always mean just plain water. If you're working outside and you're sweating and all you take in is water, you're going to make yourself sick. Mix up your own homemade Gatorade. Make sure to always pinch, a, put a little pinch of salt. Keep up with your potassium, keep up with your magnesium. You will do fine. You can do it. Get out there and grow, get out there and garden. If nothing else, just mow grass, which is another thing I have. I don't like grass. If I had my way, no. Grass is good for feed, for pasture, for animals. <laughs> Everybody, take care. Have a blessed day. Believe in yourself. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And every one of you, thank you so much. And may each one of you be blessed and know that I am thankful for you. Take care, everyone.